I want to talk about the difference between needs and strategies to get needs met. Often people see the strategies, they are aware of their own strategies and they see each other's strategies without being aware of the underlying needs that are, that are trying to be met by those strategies. And strategies can be varied in their capacity to meet those needs. Strategies can be connective or disconnective. They can cause harm. They can cause healing. Strategies can be classed as good and bad, depending on the outcome of those strategies. Strategies can be changed and chosen, and strategies that are trying to get a need met are in the control of the person choosing and activating that strategy. It may feel otherwise. It may feel that the strategy is actually directly a need. A classic example is that I have a need for food to survive and my strategy is to eat food. Often this will get conflated with a need and say, I need to eat. Well, my strategy to get sustenance is in this case to eat food. However, I could have intravenous injections of nutrients directly into my bloodstream that would meet the underlying need of nutrition. And this applies to many different needs. The needs, on the other hand, they arise without any conscious control. They are not something that the person has any amount of uh, control over or ability to turn on and off. There is no choice about the needs like there is choice on the strategy to meet the need. So when I have a problem in my life and I can see a behavior or a thought that is problematic and causing disconnection or some sort of lack of safety, any problem, that strategy is trying to meet a very reasonable need. My intention behind that strategy is perfectly sound. There is nothing wrong with the intention underneath my strategy, even if my strategy is causing harm. When I take a moment and I look at those needs, the needs for which I am trying to get them met by this strategy, I can see a part of myself and the level of acceptance that I have of that part of myself. That is where the work begins. If I have a need for connection and reassurance and my strategy is to take touch from my partner, then the strategy is causing a problem with our connection, it's breaching their boundary. 
but the need for connection and reassurance is absolutely pure and fine. And so the inspiration for taking the action that I'm taking is pure and fine. So when I accept that I have a need for connection and reassurance, then I can look at alternative ways of getting that need met. Ways that create connection. Ways that don't cause any harm. And ways that actually get the need met better. I advocate for mindful communication in expressing that I have a need and making a clear request to have that need met. Would you be willing to engage in some physical touch because I have a need for reassurance? And then there's a choice point, yes or no, or maybe, yes and, yes but, no and less. And then negotiations can occur and I, as the conscious part of my being, will be going into that, going into service of those needs that I have identified, that have been using a strategy maybe for decades. That may work or may not, but it may cause connection or may cause harm. There's nothing wrong with strategies until there's something wrong with strategy. But there's no changing that the need exists. When I judge the need and try and suppress the need, the need fights back. The need grows, becomes monstrous sometimes and erupts with old, potentially harmful strategies. So taking a moment to connect in with my needs, to love them, to acknowledge them without judgment, that will calm them down, help them resize themselves, reassure them that I get it. I get that there is that need there. And then we can work together. I can be the boss. They don't take over me. I stay in control and I go about getting those needs met, either by myself or in collaboration with others. And I'm responsible for those needs and get them met in, in helpful ways that create more connection, more harmony, more beauty in the world. That's the kind of world I want to live in.